Hey, what's up, guys? Back here again. We're gonna do another gameplay, let's play Super Street Fighter 2 on the Super Famicom. As that, as you guys watch that, I'm gonna review uh, these comic books right here. Tuki. We haven't tell, couldn't tell by the thumbnail. Tuki, written by Jeff Smith. Really good run so far. Um, published by uh, what's it? Cartoon Comics. Start off simple, start off with Ryu. A different color. England! I'm not really good at these games, but let's give it a go. Tuki is about the first human to leave Africa during you lose. Let me read off the Let me read off the thing for you. Two thousand years ago a great ice age grip the earth, trapping all moisture in the polar ice caps, causing drought and upheaval in the rest of the world. Vast tropical jungles gave way to dusty gra grasslands, and all living creatures struggled to survive, including the many species of hominins. To avoid extinction, something had to be done. This is the story of the first human to leave Africa. Okay. It's hard to put, just saying, like, it's a guy that left Africa. I don't want to get into some dumb details. I want to just read it really quick. We follow this guy in Tuki, the first one to leave of Africa. And it's pretty cool because uh, Jeff Smith did a lot of research, uh, paleontology, about uh, evolution. And this is his interpretation of how one. Real human would leave a uh, sick ass distracting me with her ass. Well, her, her, see. Nine. Okay. okay, so Tuki, he, he's leaving Africa for the first time. So we follow him because of the drought. He's trying to survive. So this is his interpretation of one person leaving. Uh, this is how his idea of evolution would happen, but in a fun way. It's not like shoving evolution down your throat pretty cool we see other hominids of of humans different uh breakaways like chimpanzee uh homo erectus us really good book it's on issue three it comes out every other every other month which is kind of okay i guess like i don't really mind i don't need it every week but it's from a small publisher and you can tell it's from a small publisher but it has a lot of heart in it i really like the book I would definitely recommend picking it up. You lose. Um, if you're going to local comic book shops, they probably don't order a lot of these comic books because the the order is going like the guy I pick up from me says he only orders so only so little of them because not a lot of people heard about this comic book. And I was surprised because why wouldn't you hear about this book? Oh, fucking the first human even after that. Falling him there's his adventure trying to survive. Dude, I fucking suck at Street Fighter. Sorry guys. You lose. An issue two, Tuki finds a kid by himself trapped who's scared. And he's trying to kill trying to hide himself in this uh tree bark. Oh, tree stump? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. 
issue two, Tuki finds this little kid who uh, starts off by saying, I, I think my sisters are missing because this creature killed them. So Tuki's like, don't worry, I'm going to protect you. So Tuki goes around looking for this big ass, uh, I guess, ape-like monkey. So he has to fight him, and then he leaves on a cliffhanger for issue two. Really well written. I love how I had to read it sideways. You don't read it from left to right. You read it from up to down. You have to flip it uh, the other way to read it this comic book, which I really like. Gives you more art, artwork, and it's cool because uh, the, at the beginning of the issue one, since uh, English is not really a thing, uh, the way they, they have dialogue is they have a this monkey shaman because there's always been shamans throughout it, history. I guess uh, they go through uh, saying like you can't understand me because it just starts gibberish and this monkey spits fucking uh, dust in, in his face to make him hallucinate and like awaken his conscious I guess and uh, that's how he, he can understand the other monkeys so it's not really English they're speaking they're speaking just like in their dialect but it lets us know that drugs are or it just made it convenient for us to understand Either way, I like to think both ways. <laughs> and then the third issue that just came out this Wednesday, uh, we find out that Tuki actually kills... Dude, I really suck at this game, but... We find out that uh, Tuki kills the animal, and after they kill him, the little kid's sisters appear. And uh, he's trying to figure out if he's going to take care of them, or just... At the end of the issue, he says that he's gonna return the people, the little kids, back to their tribe or whatever. But in the and the little kids, little tribe of little kids that has a sister that's kind of good, like I guess not good looking, but telling us that something's gonna happen because it's like a love interest already in issue three. Um, I would definitely go recommend picking this up at your local comic book store. It's only issue three. It's probably gonna be harder a little bit, a little bit harder to find because it's probably gonna be in a low quantity to this. Uh, these books, hopefully you can find it. I would definitely go pick it up. You. And Tuki. Really good book. Jeff Smith is doing a good job. I hope you see this video. If not, whatever. I'm buying it. Can't wait for the next one. It's going to come out in May. So everybody should go pick that up. And with that, a little quick review. Let's try to get kind of far in this list. I'm not really good at this game. Fucking one, hell yeah. You win. Perfect. Oh, she didn't even touch me. I got that bonus. I was like, why is it ringing up so much? Uh, for other video stuff I've been thinking about, I don't know if you guys want to see like my uh, Blu-ray collection, because I, I kind of want to talk about everything, not just like comic books in here, but I love comic books, I've been reading them for a while now, not even a while, like, not even three years, I'm kind of new to everything, but open-minded to all the other stuff, I don't know, I'm just trying to make more content, it's my only day off, I work, I have a crazy schedule, not really crazy, but... I work a lot, and then when I get home, I'm just lazy, and then I have to edit. I'm the only one that edits and do stuff, so I just kind of do it when I have time. Hopefully, um, I get to do it more frequently. But I'm, I'm, I'm going to make this and edit it and probably upload it by the end of the morning, so, yeah. I don't know, I want to make uh, Blu-ray videos. I want to make a uh, little comic book so you guys see my collection. I got my little long box right there. Um, I like collecting video games, too. Right now, I got the Super Famicom. Um, I actually found it. At a, I found it at a Salvation Army with the box and somebody left the receipt when they originally bought it for like $192 or something like that. Something crazy. I got it for like $80. I paid 20 bucks too much, I think, but I really wanted to have the box and I'm playing this game right now on it, so it's pretty fun. Don't regret it. But yeah. Uh, my friend uh, Ryan, he's really good at fighting games. He wants to do more of these kind of fighting games and show his little input on it. I'm kind of down for it. Hopefully you guys will like it. Make some more uh, fighting video games. Get, get my brother back in the mix. Making some videos. It's mostly just me. He works a lot too. But yeah, we're all on different schedules. Yeah, I just bought 
picked up my, the first season of Dragon Ball. I've never seen Dragon Ball growing up. I'm gonna give that a try. It just never it was never my thing growing up. I was a, I was into skateboarding. Never really home, just going out all the time. I was a little kid having fun. How it should be. Uh, but I know people love it, so I'm gonna give it a try. Yeah, me and my brother have been collecting Blu-rays for a while now, so I'll show you guys that collection. Trying to make it interesting, show our personality and stuff. You know. But... I'm getting the hang of this. You win. Uh, hopefully, you I, oh, I don't know. Hopefully, you guys leave some comments, talk about some video games, see what you guys like and stuff. Trying to be part of this community of YouTube. It'd be really fun. Because I follow a whole bunch of people, like uh, big fans of Comic Historian, uh, TV Little House, Wet Movie One, Cool Duder, uh, Black Nerd Comedy. Mark Wilson, Bill DeFranco. I've been watching it for years and it just like makes you want to be like, dude, I wanna I wanna have that. I wanna have people who fucking like dude we like the same stuff. Probably at least not talk about it. Have a nerd conversation. I think that'd be pretty cool. I don't know, I'm just rambling now. This game's really fun. I never got the chance to play this game when I was a little kid. Take that. Wind it back. Yeah. It's a really fun game. I wish I had somebody to play it with. <laughs> yeah, uh, Tuki. First three issues. Go pick it up, guys. Check you next time.